me and my young fellow coach right here came up with a game plan. We watched a lot of film, um, you know, from the previous game. And uh, we we made some adjustments um, in terms of switching the ball screens and just trying to keep every everyone in front of us. They're really dangerous if they can get behind. And uh, so long as we just always wanted to play five on five, I thought we came out and we made some good some some good passes, which um, in return created some good shot opportunities for us. And we knocked it down. Zakari was was huge at the beginning. Randy was huge at the beginning. And we value the basketball. So the things that were our Achilles heel just a week ago, we just now protecting the basketball. We had 25 assists and shot 50% and held them to 30%. Anytime you do that, that's a staple for winning a basketball game. And we're just happy to come out on the receiving end of that. I know you heard you say before you can tell at practice how Well, that's the hardest thing to do in terms of shooting, but I, I always tell them this. Like, that's the one thing you really can't control, uh, being able to shoot, but you can control your energy. And, you know, I ain't learned a lot in science. That wasn't my best thing, but I know energy uh, is, is neither um, – what is it? Not never transferred or go away. It's it's always there. So you got to use it uh, to your advantage, whether it's positive or negative. And you know, a lot of times we've had some guys who came out and tried to beat the system and tried to break the universal law and take matters into their own hands. And as a result, their game suffered. But we had a good practice uh, individually. Randy came back and had a great practice yesterday in terms of his energy, and you see the results. So it kind of goes hand in hand, man. And, uh, you know, that's one thing I learned in my playing career. That's what I try to um, relate to them. How much do y'all do in a day in between? Yeah, yeah, we won't do much. We'll go like 45 minutes, but, you know, we're not professionals where we can just go out here and do a walkthrough. And, you know, I'm a firm believer in the law of – inertia you know a body in motion stay in motion so we try to get them in motion and try to recover randy didn't have a great um shooting game against eastern shore and i thought his energy and effort was bad at practice the previous day um i didn't think z had great energy last week but now he came back and he's playing well i thought sean sean missed a couple of practices because it's back and i don't think he played well so it goes hand in hand man so we're just trying to make sure we capitalize and go day by day and make sure we handle our business coach you starting towards the tournament time i know players talk about raising their game in high pressure moments and in tournaments so as a coach do you feel like you raise your coaching to another uh, I just think the the energy and the the tension is 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 thick around that time because forget about the body of work that you've had the last four or five months. You know everybody really concerns themselves with those three days or four days in in March, and that's what ultimately your season will be defined as. So I think everything the stakes are higher, and uh, you got to raise your level of play, and I got to raise my level of coaching as well so we try to take it one day at a time I know that sounds cliche but you know we just feel like if we handle our business now then we can have some great momentum going into the tournament obviously once they uh, whether it be Randy or Zakari anybody want to see those first couple go in is it kind of yeah 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 it does it does you know the 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 psychology of the sport is undefeated, right? So anytime the ball go in, especially you know in this game, um, you know you really feel good about yourself. And now you got the crowd cheering for you, as opposed to missing three or four, and you're on the road in a hostile environment, and they're booing and talking about you and talking about your mother, and ain't no telling what else. And that's what happens when we in the game. So you got to stay mentally tough and be locked in and focus on the next one. So when they hit something early, that's normally a sign if they're gonna have a good shooting night. Road trip of the year coming up, Norfolk State. Thank next. God. <laughs> uh, how do you feel going forward? Man, you know, they tough, man. They 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 were the favorites to win it and them and Bethune. So, um, you know, they'll be at home and obviously it's gonna be a huge basketball game. They'll be ready to play. They're so big, strong, well coached, athletic, shoot it well, all of the all of the things above. So we got our hands full. And we're gonna have to be men. You know, we're gonna have to be men. It's it's gonna be a character tester and um I'm I'm looking forward to the challenge. Are you kind of glad you get that character test in late February as opposed to getting it in conference in January? Well, we've gotten it 
you know, several times. And, you know, anytime you go on the road and, and things don't go your way, you get that character test. And honestly, we already know the character test because we do it the first day of preseason when they're here. And we do the mile run. You tell everything about everyone's character doing that mile run. Everything. It, it exposes you. That's what it does. It don't care about who's in shape, who's not in shape. It just exposes the intestinal fortitude of who you are, who has it, who do not, who will run through the finish line and who will stop as soon as they get through the finish line, who will give in to the mental fatigue um, and that voice in their head and who will not. And that's all basketball is in the character test when you go on roads. That voice in your head, you got to overcome that voice. And the voices in the stands, you got to overcome that voice and, you know, find comfort and discomfort, so, so to speak. And we haven't been able to do that yet consistently, and we're going to have to do it Saturday. Yeah, I give them all, you know, when I recruit them, I give them the green light to shoot the basketball. You know, I'll be the most hypocritical coach in the world as much as I shot the basketball <laughs> to say, no, nah, you don't shoot it. So I never told him don't shoot it. You know, I just want to make sure he take good ones. And we run a lot of stuff for him. So, um, you know, it's fun to coach him. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.